Hello everyone, today I wanted to change things up a bit on the channel and go over the Ever Retro Toy Box Protectors. Now, these are just a series of 10 protectors. They're flat, and you basically fold them up to put an action figure in. And I have Flash here that I've already done. And you can see it's clear, it looks like you're just staring right at the box, but it's still protected. It's scratch-proof, dust-proof, and waterproof. You know, I collected the Justice League McFarlane figures as well as some other figurines. I was worried about damage later on and wanted to keep them in pristine condition. So then I saw these and, and I got the Ever Retro Pack online on Amazon Prime Day. And they were about 27 for a pack of 10. And they also have some for the build of figures some for the Kenner toys, the Black Series Star Wars toys, as well as others. You can also get protector cases for Nintendo games, uh, Pokemon cards, steel books, and um, overall, it's not too bad. It's a flat case like this, and there is a thin film. So if you see that it looks a little hazy and it's not clear, there's a thin film. I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. Okay, see here? It's like right here, and you can see it on the ground too. So you get your nail. You get your nail here and you rip it. It's like this thin piece of plastic film that's over. So you don't have to worry about it being damaged on the way there. It is a little tedious, but you basically get this and fold it up like a rectangle. It's in a rectangular shape here, as you can see. So you see it looked a little hazy. That's because there is some film on it. So this right here is crystal clear, like you can see. This isn't. So what we're gonna do is take the film off of each and every uh, part. Have patience and then find an opening. And once you do, it's gonna peel apart easily. I've done a couple of these boxes. You just rip off film, but you can see how clear it looks. You can see straight through it now. And the edges, some boxes may have some film on the edges here, but all you have to do is pretty, it's pretty much like a toy box. So if you see this, you put these flaps down bend this and then fold it down and that can be the bottom i have the ever retro logo on top but as you can see here it's a little bit uh uneven here so you kind of have to force it in there i usually put the flaps down and then fold and uh, make sure the box is over it so we should try batman okay so after you take all the film off you can close the bottom and it looks something like this and then here's the top so what we do is we get our action figure, in this case, Batman from uh, Zack Snyder's Justice League, Batfleck. And uh, you can put him either direction, but I like doing the flap at the back. Just fit the box here and you slide it in like so. Close the flaps, make sure you clear the box. You don't want to damage the box inside. And then uh, close the flap in the back and it snaps and here you go. This is your Ever Retro Toy Box Protector. It's clear, you can see everything, and your action figures will be protected. So for any toy collector out there, if you're a professional toy collector, you probably have some sort of protection already. Maybe find a better deal, but for first timers, for amateur toy collectors, casual collectors, uh, I recommend getting these. The only con is sometimes the film on the plastic casing can be a little tedious. You need a lot of patience. And I wish they sold them individually or in a pack of five at least because I only have six figures. So I'm gonna have four left over. And for the build of figures, I have the gold label dark side and the standard Steppenwolf. So I only need two out of the 10 pack. I wish there was an option to buy them individually or at least a smaller pack. But other than that, this is quite affordable and well worth the investment for keeping your collection in pristine condition. Let me know if you collect anything, what kind of protective casing do you use, if any. Let me know down in the comments below. And you can check out Ever Retro store. They're a place in Canada. They also have a store on eBay and Amazon. I got mine from Amazon on Prime Day. So if you wanna buy it for a cheaper price, maybe be on the lookout for Black Friday and see what happens. But I just wanted to quickly showcase this. And I love these boxes. It goes great with my collection. I'm gonna get the Build-A-Figure boxes pretty soon, whether it's Ever Retro or another brand. In the meantime, you can check out Ever Retro products online. And uh, yeah, thank you all for watching this quick video. I wanted to do something a little bit different on the channel. I feel better now that my toys are being protected by Ever Retro box cases. And uh, feel free to check out these other videos for more content. Stay safe and healthy, everyone. Till next time.